Hi, in this video I wanted to talk to you about the best free screen capturing software in my opinion and this is without a doubt this program called OBS Studio and this program I discovered fairly recently, maybe about a year ago at the time I was recording with Nvidia Shadow Play but there was a, some kind of a bug after an update and my microphone was making all these strange sounds it was this uh, static noise and a lot of people were complaining and they didn't fix it for maybe about two weeks uh, maybe more after that but two weeks i waited and then i started to um, look for another program and i found this one and i didn't look back to the nvidia shadow play again i used to uh, use that for my videos but it just lacks options it records uh, very good quality but doesn't have many options this one has just a lot of options and this is not just about recording your uh, screen this can do so much more it's such a good program and it's completely free there is no um, uh, hidden you know catch here it's completely free and open source it's still being maintained updates are coming out every now and then the one thing I can say it's a disadvantage for this program is that when you first start it's kind of difficult to figure out exactly how to start recording. You need to create a scene first here by clicking on this add, add a new scene and then in that scene you have different sources here. So for example in this scene I have a source just this image of my channel uh, graphic here. And in the second scene, I have a display capture. I am actually currently recording with this software, but I uh, overlaid here this uh, black rectangle, this image of black rectangle that I quickly created in GIMP. So you don't have to see this because when I'm uh, recording it live, you can see what's going on here. So I can quickly just censor this uh, screen and uh, uh, spare you to watch that. And uh, this is just a great feature, such a great feature to be able to uh, put layers on top of each other. So yes, this program support layers and this is just an amazing feature to have in a free uh, program like this. And you can have, for example, add um, a video capture device. Now I haven't, this, uh, I haven't tested this, but I'm guessing you can uh, use a camera that records live and you can, for example, record your screen and then have a rectangle here with your face with the, the camera feed you can put more than one camera you can put just so many different things you can see them all here let me turn on back the image you can see we have a different uh, sources that we can use to be displayed over here and all of this is happening live here you can set up your scenes in advance and also the different sources that you're going to have in each scene and then you can start the recording and just switch between scenes using keyboard shortcuts. Also, you can turn on and off different sources while recording using keyboard shortcuts. So everything can happen live. Another really cool feature is that you have live transitions. Usually in order to transition from one scene to another, you need to load them in the in an editing software. You need to put transitions there. Here, it's all happening live. You can see right now I'm here in the fade transition and if I click here you can see how it fades into the uh, different scene I can change that for example to cut which is basically to have no transitions just quickly cut to the other scene or we can have a swipe you can see how this one looks like all of this is adjustable you can see the duration here we can we have more settings we have uh, option to add and remove uh, different options here as you can see now let's go and look at the keyboard shortcuts which are located in the settings here but before that I'm going to turn off this image so we can see the window that is going to pop up. Click on the settings and here hotkeys. You can see what I'm using to start or to stop a recording. You can see also I've added keyboard shortcuts to switching between scene 1 and 2. Now uh, if we go and create another scene, scene 3. Let me cancel this for a moment. Click here to create another scene. Just click OK. Now you're probably seeing just a black screen. So I'm going to switch to scene two. So now we can quickly go to the uh, settings here. Hotkeys. 
and add a keyboard shortcut to switch to this new scene and for example I'm going to enter control plus numpad 4 so I'm just going to hold the control key and then press the number 4 on the numpad and then if I want to save this I'll click apply now if I want to close this just click OK but before that I want to show you something else here you see that not only we have the control to switch in between scenes live but we also can turn off or on or uh, hide and show uh, different sources that we have in each scene now all you need to do is enter the keyboard shortcuts and then of course remember them because you have the ability to control so many things if you add too many shortcuts make sure you can remember them so you don't confuse yourself but the, just the ability to do this is amazing to me that we can have a whole production going on and everything live we can show hide things we can switch between scenes this is just an amazing piece of software that we are getting for free i'm going to click ok to close this another feature that this program has uh, that has been very very useful to me especially because uh, some of my subscribers and viewers have been uh, complaining that i have uh, a lot of noise from my microphone and the microphone that I'm using is actually Logitech and it's advertised it was advertised as a noise cancelling microphone I spent 50 or 60 dollars on it it's not of course a top of the line microphone it's not a 200 dollar microphone but it's still not the cheapest and it's still there is a lot of noise going on with it and in order to usually fix that you need to run the recording uh, in some software after you have finished the video and that uh, prolongs the the time you need to edit you need to re-encode often to do this but this program here again offers a very simple feature to fix this program just click on the uh, this icon here where it's the audio and then uh, go to filters and then here you can see I've added a filter noise suppression and as you can probably hear there is no noise going on especially if you uh, listen with headphones while I'm talking there should be uh, actually while I'm not talking there shouldn't be any noise so you can see from here you can add these different filters I'm going to close this I have to tell you that this program is such a huge time saver and I have been recording videos for now maybe five six years I've gone through a lot of programs trying to figure out which works best and some of the free programs do decent job but usually you end up with programs that are missing features that there's always some problem going on or the paid software can be very expensive especially for video editing video capturing the software is pretty expensive and having a good a really useful program that can do all the tasks that you want them to do is a rare thing to have and this one I really have no complaints with it the only thing like I said in the beginning is that it's a little bit difficult to figure out at first so make sure you go through the settings here go through the different uh, tabs here to adjust your settings to your liking if you're having any trouble with something and something is not working and uh, you're just having trouble getting the program to do what you want it to do watch a few tutorials I at first myself watched a couple of videos when I started because I couldn't figure out exactly how to start recording my sc my screen it turned out like I said to just you need to add a scene and you need to add a source so it's pretty simple but someone needs to show you of course and in the future maybe I will make more videos tutorials about how to use this program and how to make the best of it by the way something that I almost missed I keep saying about uh, recording live is because uh, you know I mean this recording is going to be viewed later and it's not going to be live but the process of recording the different elements in the video are going to be live but this program has also another very useful feature and this is the streaming so you can actually stream live using this program you can set up your scenes in advance set up your sources and then you can control what you're going to show to people in your live stream so this is a very very useful feature to have in again a free program like this so in conclusion i have to say that this is in my opinion the best free screen capturing software but it is so much more you can do so much more with it than just capture what you're doing on your screen 
and if any of you guys know a program that is better than this one or maybe as good as this one you can share it in the comments just make sure to leave the links out just put the name of the program because YouTube is going to um, mark it as spam and that's not a good thing just leave the links out and uh, enter the name of the program that you suggest and I hope this video was useful if it was make sure to like it to visit my channel for more if you're new and to subscribe and that's it for this one. Bye for now.